Hi Aries, welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Uh, Aries, this is your love reading today, <clears throat> starting today on the 24th of June. And I'm incorporating the frequency of the number into the reading as a basis for the reading. My camera's a bit wobbly. Excuse me. <clears throat> that'll do for now doodle do um 24th yeah so i'm incorporating the frequency and so number 24 uh is a really yummy one for your for the uh, basis of your love because number two is all about relationships and conversation communication and number four is all about the heart the heart matter laying new foundation and combining those two we have number six and then we also have the number six uh, month so that could be of significance for you. That is a number six. And it's more focused on the totality of you. It's, it is the romance type of number two. It is the number four, which is your heart. It's a heart matter. It's love. And then we have number six, which is the, it's your connection to, to the divine. It's your connection to your inner being. So that's the totality of you. That's number six. Emphasized by number six uh, of the month. If we want to go further, we have... 2020, which is 2-2, two, two, and then adding those up is e even number 4. So it's, it's, we're moving around in 2-4-6 in this reading. So let's see specifically what's going on, okay, for you. Oh, wow. Uh, I have the Archangel Power Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue. I want to take the time <clears throat> and say that I'm using, uh, for extended videos, I'm using uh, the platform that is called Vimeo, and I'm about to change it. I'm on the outlook to find some other platform to use my extended, because I feel it's not for everyone. Sorry, I'm just gonna pause for a moment. Sorry about that with my jewelry that just made noise. Um, yeah, so. I'm looking for another platform to have the extended be. Let's not get into the reasons why. Uh, I just want to find a better platform. And give me a shout out if you have some sort of suggestion, if you know of any platforms that is sort of like Vimeo, where you can put your extended for you guys to go, like you can upload videos, like have like a video on demand type of thing. I would highly appreciate it if you put it in the comment section, if you know anything about it. And I do apologize if there's any any guys of you, Aries, that has had some sort of trouble with getting to the right video, getting to the rent or buy or, you know, having an easy time to access it. Sometimes it's not Vimeo's fault. Sometimes it can be the way you decide to pay for it or something like that. But I'm just gonna say that. Okay. Aries, love. There you go. <clears throat> I wanna I wanna just take a moment here and, and say that okay, so I talked about I know it's almost like saying you can't I know that there are some readers they're like they're repeating, repeating, repeating what they what they're asking for but it's not like the universe doesn't know what you're asking for it's still going to yield it to you uh, it's almost like you're if you're having kids or if you're like um you're talking to somebody and you're crossing the crosswalk what do you say do you say crosswalk um you're holding hands with your children maybe uh and at the same time you're, you're having a conversation with somebody else you still know that you're supposed to to hold your like hold the hands of, of your children, if that makes sense. Uh, I still know to do that, even though I'm talking to my friend or something like that, to make a poor analogy, maybe. Um, but this is like, even though I'm shuffling the universe, like your higher self, you still know that you're here for your love reading, even though I start to talk about something else. You're not like. Is this my love? Like you don't you don't think that. So what I want to get to is that there's something in this message, even as I shuffle and even even as I go off to talk about Vimeo, 
I was off there for a tiny, tiny bit. And it was something about me just giving that one little extra, okay, air is love. And it just popped out. So there's something to that, not to say that the universe, just because you're doing other things, sometimes it's even easier to do other things and to loosen up your resistance to certain things because you're taking your eyes off of it or because you're taking your energy off of it, if that makes sense. You're not so focused or honed in on something that it sort of almost can't come. And the minute you sort of just look elsewhere, it's like it loses its grip, its grip and it's like, and in it comes. So the minute you start, that's why people say when you least expected it, it's not like you least expected it, you expected things to happen. But when you had the least amount of resist, resistance should be the expression, when I had the least amount of, of resistance going, when I took my mind or my focus off of it for a minute, for a, for a second, in they came. So there's something to be said about that. And I am never, I was going to say rarely, but I don't, I don't think I've ever taken into consideration that the cards are upside down. Like there's a, that there's an upside down to it, but three cards came out in the, in the upside down. Um, and there is something to say about you might think that your love life or your love uh, prospects, if you will, like wh whoever is sort of coming after you, whoever is sort of pursuing you, or if you're pursuing somebody, um, doesn't look all that fun, doesn't look all that nice. It's like, where are my people? Uh, it looks a bit ups upside down. If this is you being in a, in a committed relationship, there's something to it that looks a bit upside down at the moment. I just want to say that it's not. I just want to say that if you take your eyes or mind off of the upside downness of it, take your mind and eyes off your approach to it. That's what I want to use. The approach to it, you will find in an, you saw how fast the cars just flipped out. Um, the minute I, I sort of said, okay, Aries and love, then it just came. But it's like in reverse here because we're having the upside down. So it's almost like I rather want for you to take your eyes and mind off of it for a second. So you might think you might think that you're walking around like you, maybe you would even say, I'm, I'm not thinking about a lover all the time. Maybe you're not, but it's there. I sense that it's there. And so it's like if you just do you for a while, it will come faster than you think. So I want to show you what, what came out before I even had time to shuffle. If you heard me talk before, you know that like over a period of time, over a period of years, somehow, some way, um, unicorns and peacocks has found their way in as a sign for a soulmate connection. And we have number seven. I do apologize. The, the program reverses the, the images of the cards. Let's just do this. Is this number seven? Is this the chariot? I don't know tarot, so I don't know what the, the word chariot, chariot like in t the tar typical tarot reading means. I just know for a fact when I look at this image that it's freaking awesome. It's so gorgeous. So we have a strong soulmate connection coming in because we have two unicorns here. We have a, we have a dark horse and a white horse. We have a black horse and a, like a black stallion and a, and a white beautiful unicorn they're both unicorns so, so to me they're your soulmate and you're their soulmate it's like a it is truly magical you see all these sprinkles of magical dust here it's it's so gorgeous and it's like it's seven it's seven <laughs> it's seven cent i was gonna say it's heaven cent but maybe it's seven cent um Seven talks about a completion, like whatever you dup, dup, I can't talk, whatever you've done up until this point has maybe not worked all that well for you love wise, but I feel like it's, it's just been a gathering of information, a gathering of knowing what you want so clearly and play it out. There's no way in anywhere. <sighs> that you that you won't know something for sure uh 
more than if you've lived through something. If you've lived, for instance, I'm living in a situation right now where I'm dealing with a very small space and I'm on the outlook to find a new home that is bigger and there's never been <laughs> clearer to me what what I truly highly appreciate in a home besides space you know it it's never as clear as when you live through something that has you really focus in focusing in on on exactly what it is that you want because maybe you've lived the opposite of it this is going to bring about something that is like it's seven there's something with the seven so on the seventh day he rested there's something about you don't have to do anything more it's time to just have your cake it's almost like eat your cake and still what is that expression at the cock and hot and quad it is in swedish have your cake and eat it too eat your cake and have it too or something like that um <clears throat> which means that you can have it all you can have it all whatever you ask for in terms of your love life you can have it all and then um it's seven cent and it's also heaven sent so the, the, the there's divine intervention here there's it's being shipped in the divine is sort of putting you guys together so whether you're the white horse or whether you're the black horse or vice versa um there is a yin yang situation here it's almost to the point where it's so perfectly balanced like if you carry a lot of masculine energy then you're probably carrying a lot of feminine energy if if you're very much like the fire in you the air the the you know what i mean whatever is going on in you is like it's being perfectly yin yanged that should be an expression i'm being yin yanged um with your person if the if you are already in a committed relationship it feels like something is coming alive again it's like something has been a bit stale has been a bit stagnant and like and a bit upside down and it's like you're finding each other again coming back together again it doesn't necessarily mean that there's been a separation <clears throat> but maybe just stagnation and then we have these two cards popping out at the same time when i just focused a tiny bit on it these two just dropped out and that's when i want to tell you guys to take your focus a bit off of it for for a minute and then we have two like strong love cards this ariel coming out twice ariel is the love love reading ariel is the love angel um and it talks about so much about how you gather information, how you're in this library with so many books. And you read all the books. You does, don't necessarily maybe read a lot of books. Or maybe you do read a lot of books. That's not the significance here. What I feel around this is that you gather enough information. Whether you got it from books or, or life experience or just how you got to this point where you're at. It feels like you're ready. You read up on the subject. You've you've maybe even gone to therapy to sort of better yourself to really become the greatest partner you could be for somebody else or maybe that's a hint maybe that's a suggestion to just keep bettering yourself and sometimes sometimes people think that you sort of need, need to be down and out to go see a therapist but i'd say the best help you can get from a therapist is when you feel at your best because when you come in at your best you will start to attract things that will add on to your best when you're at your worst or at your lowest the only thing you really do to be honest is you dwell around it's good to hear your own voice and it's good to move on to higher higher energy planes but i think the best place you can go and see a therapist or just some sort of um ball plank i would say in swedish ball <laughs> I don't know how to translate that. Just to have somebody to talk with. Have somebody that you don't feel like you... That's why therapists are so good. You're paying them to listen to you. Um, and there's never going to be that point where it's like, it feels like I'm talking too much about myself. Now, how, how about you? 
you know you never have to reach that place because you're paying them so and they're also there to give you advice and they're there to with their profession tell you what you can think about and it feels like you almost some of you guys have done that and somebody somebody might that might be a good thing for you and then we have this which is absolutely gorgeous this is like So I think this is either you, it's not clear who is who here. I see the Wheel of Fortune in the back. There's a beautiful golden bird cage where the bird is sitting on the outside. It's interesting because I've never seen this bird cage before and it's so in your face. I don't know if you're going to see that, but there's a golden bird cage here. There's a tiny, tiny birdie. Tiny, tiny birdie sitting. There you go. Oh. Sitting on top of the bird cage there. Golden bird. The, the, the message is that the bird is sitting outside of the cage. So whatever maybe felt caged in previously that maybe you felt a bit trapped maybe you felt a bit i don't know almost suffocated like at least like you weren't th weren't free you've stepped into some sort of freedom feeling place maybe you're uh single and you really like your singlehood and you're feeling like on top of the world and it really doesn't matter whether this person comes or not i think that's probably the most beautiful place to be in it's not sad whatsoever um, it just feels like you then you're free, you're, you're in your golden age, you're uh, doing exactly what you want to do. And from that perspective, the perfect partner can just enter your life and be right there with you, feeling free with you. Um, I can't say whether this is you or this is your person or whether this is you or this is your person. So take, take however that resonates with you, okay? So for me, this feels like uh, here we have Ariel. It's being portrayed as Ariel, the angel, sitting in this, I don't know what that's called in English, but play box. Like you open those boxes and the little dolly twirls, swirls, twirls around and it's playing music. Um, and it's, it's wide open, like it's open for love. It's ready and it's open for love as your person has just opened their box. It's not fully open yet. It's not, it's not there, that they're close. Like I said, it's not closed for business. It's not fully closed, but they have just opened it. It's like they're just getting ready and they feel the yumminess of it. They feel the gorgeousness of what is supposed or about to come in. But I just want to say you feel if this is you, Aries, you feel like, you feel if you're ready for this next type of love or if this is like you need a tiny bit longer you just you or you're not ready to meet somebody right this minute if this is you who are ready who feel really ready and ripe i was gonna say like ready to step into this gorgeous relationship with the will of fortune in the back and you're like this little birdie sitting outside of this golden golden cage um, just know that you're, the, what, what is the hold up for the other person? Cause it's a matching freaking heaven here. Heaven sent, seven sent. Um, it's that they just need a bit more time. It's not you, you then just go out, have fun because they will show up eventually. Okay, I'm going to move into the extended and I'm going to look at this. I'm going to ask more about this, like who is whom here? What, who is doing what? Like if this is you or if this is them asking about their situation, sort of when they're ready and what else we can find out about this gorgeous connection. So this is absolutely beautiful. I didn't even mention that there's a page. You're turning the page uh, in, when it comes to love. You're, you're, you're going to discover something new here. Maybe there's something about somebody even being a pilot. Or like the pilot season. Okay, I'm going to dive deeper into it in the, in the extended. So uh, if that's interesting to you, 
then um, the link is in the description box down below. Um, if this is where we go our separate ways, then thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you back next week. Take care guys. Bye.